Hey Cubs, it's Lucy, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. So we are here with Tara and his possible mate. We are trying to see just what... So she's Beartooth 23F. Hmm. And we are a little bit hurt still. We've got a lot of hunting to do, I think. But we'll have to worry about that later on. For now, they need some rest. It's unfortunate that they need a rest so much to get their health back up, but... It's just what we'll have to do for now. <sighs> now let's see. I Now, I've not seen anybody's comments since the last episode just yet, so I apologize. It's just how it is at the moment because I am starting, like, just picking up right where I left off. So let's see. Is there anything nearby? There is something. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, goodness. She was just, like, right in his face, like, are you ready to go? <laughs> There is a lot of elk scent coming from around here, and I'm curious how they hunt t together. It's like a lot of elk scents. An elk herd here. I smelled something that was dead not too long ago. My hope is that it's a female moose, but I don't think we can tell right now. There's also been some mule deer, and that's not a bad idea to go ahead and go after some mule deer. I'm just trying to smell them though and see if they're 50 minutes, are they 55? I can't quite tell. There's lots of lag happening. Whoa, whoa, Tara, Tara, Tara. Is that it? That is a fox. No. That's not it, love. <laughs> this way. There they are. Ow, jeez. Maybe if I can get into it. No, this is a little bit dif more difficult just because uh, the mother is there. And mule deer have a tendency of going pretty fast. Look at them. There we go. So now we've hit it at least. So we can target it a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> Can you do the animations if you're going to hit? Sorry, that's like a big pet peeve of mine so far. That like, if they do any animations, or that the animations aren't always working there or whatever, and so they just hit when they just walk. You know what, maybe we'll just go after this one. Fudge it. You want to protect your baby so bad, huh? We'll just go after you then. She's a lot stronger, though. Come on, then. Ugh. She's definitely a lot more painful. Come on, now. Are you gonna... Are you gonna hunt, or what are you doing? Maybe she can't... She can't reach. Ah. Oof. She's a hard lady to go ahead and grab. Where are you running off to? Oh, I might not like this mate. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be the greatest of huntresses. She seems to just kind of run around a lot. I'm not really too fond of that. Come on! Are you going to attack? What are you doing? She's trying to go after the baby, isn't she? Like, come on now. There it is. Pretty sure her AI is telling her, like, oh, go after the fawn. It's a lot easier. There you go. Yes, attack that one. Tara can't keep this up. And I would hate for this hunt to go bad. Oh, we got it. Okay. Yay! Unfortunately, we are right in the territory that we do not need to be in right now. 
Uh oh. Yes, please eat, love. We need like all of the food we could eat. <sighs> all right, good. Yes, eat a lot, please. Well, look at that. She's just like, I'm gonna take this meat and I'm gonna go. That's fine, love. Pick your meat up. Pick some up. Pick it up. That's all right. Go ahead. Take the rest. Go on, and take it. I said, I take it. You silly thing. Alright, that's fine though. Whew. Now we need to get the heck out of here before any of the wolves spot us. Ugh. We're a little bit slower since we're pretty full. We had a large meal there. But now they can rest. Oh my goodness, Tara is so beat up. I don't know if I quite like her, honestly. I mean, yeah, she murdered a wolf with us. And that's nice. But she was not really there for us, unfortunately. And You want to go after that? I don't know, she might not be like the greatest of hunters. We might need to might need to test her out a little bit more. See if we like her. But maybe she's just like that because she did get hurt. So she could be feeling, you know, it, it could be a lot of uh, hurt that's going on right there right now for her too. So we'll see. Now we're going to go ahead and go to sleep and see what everything's like. Hmm. I haven't gotten any names yet. I wanted to name his mate Fauna since his name means Terra so or his name is Terra so it means earth so he's like the rock and she's like I hear something what is that or is it nothing am I just crazy I might just be crazy all right oh goodness you ate all of that Terra you didn't even need all of that Just go back to sleep. <laughs> they need a lot of rest. There is a lot of health they need to make up for. But uh, my idea was that, you know, he's like a rock, the earth, just a solid foundation. And she is the vegetation, you know, all of the happiness, the good. <laughs> Life supporting. So I'm not sure if I'm really feeling that with this little lady here. I don't know a name for her just yet. So far, I've just been calling her little lady in the hopes that that works. Might need to skedaddle out of here and find something else to go and look at. Um, well, that's a submissive tail log. Whoops. But she is gorgeous, and I'm really liking that. She's really very, very pretty. Do you want to lick her face? you want to see how that goes? <laughs> I like how they step away from each other. Like, uh, what is this? Oh, just a bunny. Well, here, are you hungry? There you go. You can have a hair if you want a hair. If you're hungry. If not, that's fine. No? Not hungry at all? You don't want it? Go ahead. Oh, she just took it. Like, mm, I'm going to bring it over here and eat. <laughs> All right, then whatever floats your boat, I suppose. All right, their health is looking a little bit better. We might need a hunt. Unfortunately, we're super close to the uh, Junction Butte wolf pack, which I don't think we've had any real knowledge of yet. So I don't know if I want to go in there and try and hunt. If we do, maybe we'll just bring it out here so that way we can hunt and um, we don't have to worry about them coming after us. So that must be that might be a good idea. If we do hunt, then we're going to lead the calf uh, out here. And I guess the mom too, since the, the mother normally follows after too. Let's see. I'm hoping there is at least a calf, because I really don't want to hunt a big big elk around in this territory. I'm worried enough as it is that there is um, like a big wolf around here. That's bull elks. We don't want those. I'm going to drink from the street. That's not a good sound. Where is that aunt? Hmm. 
Must be further up ahead. I don't think they're right here. Let's let's just keep going. If they find us, they find us, and there'll be a, a big fight. <laughs> I suppose we do have to go ahead and test her. There is a carcass around here too. So that might be an easier meal. I think we'll stay between the two cents for now and see what we can find. Ugh. Oh goodness, you scared me! Oh, lady, my goodness. Oh, there's a territory marking right there. So we might be just rounding off on them. Well, what a surprise it'll be when we show up while they're hunting. Goodness, how far in, our, in their territory are we? Oh, ooh, you know what? <gasps> ooh, this is changing. And you know what? We've not gotten anywhere near the Lamar Canyon, so we might check that out um, on the next episode, I think. But for now, I'm trying to see if we can get to these elks. I can hear them. Oh, there they are. So let's see if we've got any calves around here. So far, none that I'm seeing. This is a rather big herd, too. That might be a calf. No, 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 not there. That one. Yep, definitely a calf. Whoa! Goodness. Okay, let's see. Now, they are headed in there, so maybe if we can redirect her and the baby of it that way. Uh, no. There's no way to salvage this, I think. Trying to scare them away from those. But they're gonna keep following the herd, and the herd is elsewhere. May not making it easy to hunt. Not making it too easy. Come on, round off the other way. I guess this way works too. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. was a gorgeous takedown there. Come on then. Get spooked. Get spooked. Go over there. Go over there. Go on. Mom's making it a little difficult. And being near that rock doesn't help at all. No, it does. Ah! Ouch. Ouch. Took a lot of unnecessary damage there. Come on! Get on, move on! We need to get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jeez, how many moms you got, kid? Ten? Oof. Such lag. Majestic. Alright. This slug is making it really, really hard to hunt. It's already on challenging. Like, there we go. Yeah, I don't know about this female. For now, she's okay, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm really feeling this. She's fine, I suppose, but I was really expecting another female that could hunt well with Terra. Um, that they work nicely together. Things like that. I like how she also takes the meat and then she moves away. I don't know if she can eat all of this or what's happening. Well, eat all you need to. Oh gosh, there's two eagles. Oh my goodness. What are you scaring? Oh, you're scaring off. Oh. <laughs> okay. Those eagles are up to something, I guess. So I'm just trying to take this, and then we're probably going to move on out. Come on, then. Grab another piece of meat. Well, grab it. There's some loaf. want her to just grab some and then, like, take it with her. Leading by example. To what do you want? What do you want? 
I like how she's resting there too. No, sweetheart, we cannot just be here. We'll have to leave. We've got to go and get out of this territory. Because I see. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Oh, a buck. Maybe whenever we're higher health. But. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about her too much. We might have to try a couple of episodes with maybe another female and seeing how that goes. But my goal for this one, I think, is that we're going to run off to the Lamar Canyon. Um, once she and Tara are on full health, because I would feel bad leaving her and getting rid of her if she was, you know, hurt. And I'm sure Tara wouldn't like that either. As big, strong, and angry as he is, he's also the type, I feel like, where he would be like, Okay, um, I'm not going to leave you worse for wear. You know, we've, we've had some memories together. I'm not willing to just dump you and that's it. So, hmm, we'll see how these two interact. So far, pretty swell. I just need a little bit more help here and there. How far away? Okay, just a little bit more. Let's get out of here and try and sleep around here. And I wonder what her sisters are doing. They weren't too far away from this area, I don't think. Lest I remember of them. Wonder if that if we do see her sisters, like would they be okay with her? Would they be alright? Would they be angry that she left them? You know that kind of thing. Okay. Let's leave our chunk of meat there and go to sleep. Oh. Have some nice rest. And winter seems to be coming. Oh goodness, what was that? <laughs> Winter is coming as well. Oh, rain. Nice. Is there anything around that might be... Sorry, my dear, but this is mine and you cannot have it. She is really pretty, though. Ugh. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Let's hang out underneath this tree. Nope. Nope. That's Tara's meat. You cannot have it. <laughs> He's gonna rip your ear off if you take his meat. Mm -mm. It's your own fault she didn't bring any. <laughs> Her health is pretty good. Tara's not as much still. It needs a little bit more work. Let's travel, see what we can find along the way, and then see about this Lamar Canyon pack. I'll probably get in closer over there and then let her go. Hmm. No sense. I guess nothing's spawned in yet. Hmm. There's a mule deer not too far away. I don't think they really need some food. Oh, she's trying to play. <laughs> Sorry, love. I didn't see that. There we are. There you go. Sylph is impressed with your strength and hunting skills and one. Mm, do you want to be their mate? No. Oh, oh, he like literally just left her, huh? Wait. Hey. Oh, she's mad. <laughs> she's like, fine. Well, fine. She can run off then. I'm sure we'll find her again eventually. Plus, Tara, I think, does far better by himself than with a mate. Honestly. Plus, we've got to go see those Lamar uh, Canyon Wolves. We've not seen them just yet. Oh, there's a couple more Dispersal Wolves. <gasps> Hello from the Quadrant Pack. Is it just you? You actually kind of look like Pira, <laughs> Pira. Oh my goodness. Hi. Um, maybe try and make her a little bit more comfortable. She kind of acts like Pira, too. A little more nervous. Oh, sorry, sorry. She just didn't look like she was paying attention. Just coming up. Just a bit. Oh, goodness. She's gotten... You look exactly like Pira. So maybe I won't go with this lady. Um, if 
anything, I'll just have them communicate a little bit. Just kind of talk to each other. Yeah, you look a lot like Pyrrha. A <laughs> little awkward. A little awkward. Yeah, I know. I know how to begin the courtship. She just doesn't really care. Oh gosh, she came really, <laughs> real, right up to us, huh? Hi. She's grinning. I'll grin back at her. Yeah. She's a social one, isn't she? Maybe see if she wants to play. Is she like Pyrrha? I don't know. Well, I don't think we'll really talk to her much. We'll kind of leave her alone. I'm gonna end this off. So, I think we'll just let her go because I'll say that that's Pyrrha. And we've met her in the woods. And she's just like, whoa, what are you doing here? And he's like, what do you mean? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> and then we'll have him head off towards this Lamar pack because I'm curious what the wolves there are like. We all know that the Wapiti pack are more so... Uh, are definitely scared of Terra, I would think. He's the one who's been in and out of their territory attacking them like crazy. He doesn't really care about them. He he thinks he can bully them. The let's see the Junction Butte pack. I know we have had a few run-ins. I think with I think that's the ones that they went and killed, right? Uh, he and the other female. So in that case, I'm pretty sure that oh, there's been a coyote around here. Oh wait, there's a carcass. That just spawn, or is that super far away? I'm... Oh no! Who got the way? Yeah, you, you, you're not getting any of this carcass. Go away. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, those eyes! Just imagine seeing that in the middle of the night. Ooh. Just coyotes around. Okay. So I want to see what those perhaps are like. Uh, and, you know, we, we were able to go ahead and find a girl for him. I don't think he... Oh, is she back? Oh, it's snowing, isn't it? Look at that. <gasps> it's the sisters! Whoa! Oh my gosh, they're off chasing her. Hello, ladies. You're back! It is her! So, she found her sisters again! <laughs> Hello, ladies! And they chased off uh, Pyrrha! Oh my goodness! They were like, you can't be here! This is our boyfriend! <laughs> Hello again! They oh goodness, it's snowing! Oh, the snow is caught on Terra too! Oh my goodness! Look at him. He's just so happy. Maybe he's happy he sees her again. And it sucks too, because this one is so pretty. You are so gorgeous. And the fact that she's like, she always comes up to him. He's always super close. Darn. Ah, let's get out of the snow though. Hello, little lady. <laughs> It always sucks. Look at that fur on him. Wow. I've not seen the snow yet, so I guess now is the time to have a mate. Hmm. Well, just like we've, you know, begun on that, <laughs> on this, I suppose we'll end it here as well. So, I think with that being said, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye guys! Thank you.